immensely because he grew up and I don't think he's going to realize it until it starts happening. And I did say she's going to start traveling, stuff like that, directing movies. And it's going to affect his psyche more than he realizes because fundamentally, I think he's more conservative than he realizes he is. And later on, he's going to realize it. But for now, he's like doing the whole like new... Uh Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to No Light Tarot. My name is Holly. So grateful to have you all. So I'm doing a couples update. I'm doing two couples this week. Um, I'm doing Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra and Will Smith and Jada Baker Smith. Actually, I'm really excited to do the Will Smith one because Red Table Talk has been allegedly cancelled. So we'll get into that. Please like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I also have a tarot. I have a store, I don't know if you guys know this, I have my merchandise, yes, but I also have a store listed in the comment section. So I'm going to pin it with timestamp, so if you don't want to watch Nick, and John, Nick Jonas and Priyanka, fast forward ahead and um, you can watch the Will Smith. Okay, nice to have you all, let's get right into the reading, this is intuitive based, I'm usually accurate, doesn't even really be accurate here. So I have... Um, and once somebody asked me to do an update about Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra, I also was asked to do one on Sophie Turner and, um, what's that guy's name? Joe Jonas. The thing is, okay, Sophie Turner has like these, I've noticed she gets very defensive about people talking about her and stuff, which I think is so ridiculous when you're a celebrity, but you know, like you, people are supposed to talk about you. That's how you stay relevant. But Anyways, I think she's a great actress. I don't agree with her, her personality and that kind of like, I don't know. It's just like this air that certain celebrities have. So, where well, they want to control the narrative about what's said about them. So, I feel like usually when um, celebrities have that, they have very toxic fan base. And um, I'm not interested in attracting people like that. So, we'll see. I might do it. I might not. But my energy is just telling me not to right now. It might change in the future. For now, I'll stick to Priyanka and Nick Jonas. So I think both of them are wonderful people. I just want to tell you that. I think Nick Jonas is a wonderful person. I think Priyanka is a wonderful person. I just think fundamentally, they are not um, what's the word? compatible. Even if you look at the charts, uh, the astro charts, his son is in Virgo, Sun is in Gemini. It's very, very rare that Sun in Gemini and Sun in Virgos will get along. Your Sun is your ego, it's what you feel most. Mostly because Virgos are about devotion. I love both signs. I think both signs have great things to offer. But something about Sun and Gemini is they're very like upfront, you know, very honest. And sometimes Virgos can't handle that. Um, not saying that Virgos are weak. I just think Virgos can sometimes take things a little too personally from what I've seen and not been able to handle like the full truth. If it's something that they discover, that's fine. But if somebody comes to them and tells them straight up 100% truth, it's hard for them to swallow. Sun and Gemini's love going to people with the truth. So I did predict a breakup in the near future. I did so because the tower revealed it to me but i also predicted that because i think fundamentally they are incompatible so let's see what the update is about the relationship ace of cups ace of wands and the world okay so something big is about to happen in one of their lives somebody wrote in the comment section and i'm paraphrasing because i don't fully remember but they said that nick follows priyanka around like a lap dog basically and i found that very interesting because you know he went from being um jonas brother i never i was never a fan of jonas brothers i don't even know one of their songs um, but i was very much around nick jonas were around the same age actually so i was very much around when they were famous very much around when they had jonas brothers i'm just i've never been a fan you know um something about 
I don't know, just like peppy boy bands. Even though I loved NSYNC and I loved Backstreet Boys, there's a difference with them because I feel like Jonas Brothers were very artificial. There's like an artificialness about them that I didn't like. But I think in the devotional aspect of being a Virgo, he wanted to really devote fully to his wife. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, if anybody watches Love is Blind, Marshall from Love is Blind definitely gives me same vibes as Nick Jonas, and he's also son of Virgo. Um, where they'll do basically anything for the person that they're with until one day they're like, you know, I'm not being, they'll be passive aggressive about not getting it back in return. So I think for now, he's in the phase of like, I'll do anything, I'll do anything, I'll do anything. But things with the wheel are about to change. And the lovers of the boss of the deck, I sense another person coming into the mix, a woman. A third party, and I've said this before, I've known, no, not no, I've known, maybe not put people, person on boss. But I think sometimes some Virgos can cheat, specifically the males, they can cheat because they get frustrated in the situation they're in, but they don't have, remember I said Gemini is being the, front, the full truth, but some of Virgos were kind of like teeter around the truth. They have a tendency sometimes to cheat when they aren't receiving it back from their partner but they don't want to be the bad guy and leave but on the other side they'll cheat i might do a love is blind uh breakdown i might do that next week let me know if you guys watch love is blind i might do like a breakdown of like um different situations like different couples of love is blind so with the magician king of pentacles seven of pentacles She's going to start um, making a lot of money. And you know, I think Nick comes from a family. This is, I don't know this about him. I can just get this energetically. Whereas mother and father still together. I believe they grew up in Jersey. That I do remember hearing because I'm from New York. And I remember them saying they're from the East Coast and I thought it's weird. I wouldn't picture them as New Yorkers. But then I remember somebody saying they're from New Jersey. So that's the only thing that I, heard of them they're from new jersey i get the strong feeling the parents are still together that the man like it's a very traditional structured home and when you're an earth sign that's often earth signs crave that traditionalism you know capricorn virgo taurus they they're often very conservative in the way that they live their lives because they crave traditionalism you know they crave like doing things the right way and Gemini's are the complete opposite <laughs> they want to change things they want to switch things up they want to be very very different and with Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Wands what's going to bother him is her making more than him immensely because he grew up and I don't think he's going to realize it until it starts happening and I did say she's gonna start traveling stuff like that directing movies and it's going to affect his psyche more than he realizes because fundamentally i think he's more conservative than he realizes he is and later on he's going to realize it but for now he's like doing the whole like new uh era of relationship you know new paradigm of relationship but he's going it's not necessarily going to work in his favor because deep down how he was raised his fundamentals being an earth sign he's more leaning towards he would rather a wife if you look at his sister i used to watch i watched like two episodes three episodes of his sister i mean, excuse me his brother and his sister-in-law they had a show forgot her name forgot her name she looks like this friend i had in high school <laughs> um the sagittarius <laughs> but if you look at that dynamic that's what he is used to and that's what he will return to like the man making more money than the woman and stuff like that you know which i'm not against you know at all i think everybody needs to do what's best for them but i also think people shouldn't lie to themselves and end up in relationships that don't work for them and then end up cheating doing things on the side 
in order to fulfill that need you know like he needs you can tell he needs to feel like the man of the house with the pentacle energy needs to feel like the man of the house and the fact that she's gonna make more money is very nine of wands upsetting to him deep down okay so let's move on to will smith and jada pinker smith wow this relationship these two are something else okay so they said their table talk got cancelled and so forth and so forth um i haven't heard of it in a very long time um <clears throat> she's another virgo jada pinker smith um i'm not too crazy about either of them i think will smith He's a good actor. I just feel like he gets roles that he plays the same person. You know, I haven't seen any depth <laughs> in his character, but that's just what I think of him as an actor. So let's see what's going on in the relationship. Let's do a quick update, and then I'm going to move on to well, I'll move on, but I'm gonna record another video. <laughs> do this. Okay. So, wow, interesting. Wow. Okay. Mm. The moon, page of pentacles and death card. This relationship is, I've said this for, I'd say a year, but it's on its last leg. They don't even sleep in the same bed. They don't even sleep in the same bed. With Page of Swords, I think he is looking into, you know, somebody wrote in the comment section that it's difficult for him to get a divorce. And I think he's looking into, okay, especially being in California. Like California does often favor the woman if um, the man leaves or that's in a heterosexual relationship. It favors the, it favors the woman usually, California, liberal states. I don't want to get into politics, but usually... He's looking at, okay, this is, how is this going to benefit me if we are married? He's looking into lawyers, looking to this. He's very, very unhappy. They are both very unhappy together. Um, September, I get, for the end of the relationship. I think it has dragged out, oh, my stomach's crumbling. <laughs> I think it has dragged out longer because he's been like, oh, she does this for me. Oh, she's done that for me, you know? It's very interesting to me. I feel like there's certain signs. Libra is one of them. Sun and Libra. Sun and Pisces is another. That they are addicted to toxic loyalty. You know? I don't know if that makes any sense. So I, I'll give you an example. This is from Vanderpump Rules. If you know. Some of you don't watch Vanderpump Rules. But I wish I could tell you a story there about personal story but i can't really i don't have a personal story like that but i've just noticed that libra and pisces sometimes will be attracted to toxicity and kind of trying to save people and making excuses for people so that they don't have to work on themselves and i definitely feel like their relationship started off jada and will's relationship started off like he felt bad for her, you know, he did this for her. He felt like, okay, she, I see her flaws, but I see her potential. And her potential is better than her flaws. But the problem with that, I've been that way, I've seen somebody's potential. And I fall in love with someone's potential. It's not real, you know. The boss is dead queen of cups. So I see that he thought, okay, she can be this, she can be that. She can be all these things, but the thing is, with potential, potential doesn't exist until that person does it, and most likely they won't, because if it, they were going to do it, they probably would have done it already, you know? So, I see very strongly that his potential, like his idea of like, she's this, she's that, it's like, it's an illusion. Of the future what the future could be he doesn't really feel like that three of pentacles is of wands four of swords you know he doesn't really feel 
The wall lovers. Wow. I think he feels like this relationship. They were called together to make something big. And I have said that before in a video that I did. I'll put a card up about them. But that has come to a completion. Their relationship is very much over. I wonder when the public is going to find out. I think September this year, but time is fluid, you know, because people have free will. But it's very, very soon we're going to find out this, this relationship is done. So that's what I have you all. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Please be respectful in the comment section. Take care.